Oh, what is your biggest pet peeve about each other? One? Hey, she gon' go and fuck it up. I just want mommy for that one time. Baby looking good. Ah, baby, come and show me love. Drinks on me, baby girl. Got the Caribbean room. Ah. What's up? It's me. And my name's Adam. Today we're gonna do the QA. And guess guess what man? We posted something on Instagram so you guys can come and pull up and ask us any fucking questions, man. I'm an open book, baby. Mm -hmm. So the questions that I saw a little bit, they were they were like, okay, let's just jump in and let's answer these questions. Thank you guys so much for everybody that pulled Is there up. Any spicy questions? I don't even know the spicy, but I'm ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright man, I hope you guys have been a beautiful day and just get into it, man. Now because these questions I was like, whoa, what's going on, sweetie? They're a little X-rated. I'm just laying out right I hope yeah. I hope. All right. So the first one is gonna be right. I'm gonna put them right here so you can see them. And then Adam, you read, but because you know I don't know how to read. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so this one is, hey, this message is for Adam. Ooh. Do you remember me from McDonald's? Circa, cir circa, two hundred and four. Two thousand four. So that's not gonna be. That's that that Sandra. P.S. Glad to see you doing well. You both are a joy to watch. Much mm. love. It sounds familiar. Um, was it the McDonald's that was on Rosa Highway? Or was it one that was on a catch? Yeah, because and he also worked at a McDonald's. I worked at so many. Also the one on Rosa Highway. it sounds Heights. familiar. Sandra? You're a, right? Sandra's? Imagine how many Sandra's are on here in this world. <laughs> I, I need mean, a picture, Sandra. Yeah, a picture he would know because if you're from Bakersfield, from Shafter, from the area, um, you know, every time we go, he's always bumping into. Like, last time we went to Bakers, we went to Walmart on Panama Lane. Mm -hmm. Right away, he saw a motherfucker he knew. Remember? <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, the question was, do you remember her? But, yeah. girl, if you're watching this, comment below and this, like, oh, you can go on her Instagram. We'll go on her oh, Instagram. Oh, we have Chad's Instagram? Yeah, you should have popped that shit up. So well, I can we did it. We obviously are answering questions, not overthinking. I don't remember fucking, I wasn't studying it. I wasn't, okay, let me see what, like, well, what I like to be prepared. That's not how you prepare about do that one on me. Because see, see. But, but it does sound familiar. You mean like, um, it does sound familiar, but I just need to know which one oh, and maybe uh, I can like, like. He wanted there. to prepare himself for questions? <laughs> what the fuck you think Well, for a is? question like that. Okay, you're <laughs> like officially retarded in this book. <laughs> okay, the next one's gonna be, uh, this one right here, I'm gonna put it right here, you already know. Do you guys plan on getting married? You know what? We have a, a commitment ceremony we did like a long time ago. Remember that shit? Yeah. We did that? <laughs> <laughs> so we definitely want to get married. I feel like for me, I live my life um, organically. For me, you know, I like to be like that. And I feel like I, as much as I like to express myself through social media, I am kind of private and I am kind of like shy or to myself. I really am. I don't have friends like that. Um, if people give me a certain type of um, energy, I close off. Like naturally, I've been like this since I was young. But right away when people make me feel some way, oh, me comes out, you know what I'm saying? I just can't fake it around certain people. So a wedding right now, it will have to be kind of intimate, I feel, because I really don't like that attention in real life, you know what I'm saying? I think I've changed. Maybe I'll be open for it, but I just feel like I never had birthday parties and the and I didn't really have friends growing up like that. So it always was a big insecurity to do an event and then like nobody shows up, you know what I mean? So it kind of stayed and... I was always a very loner, you know what I mean? So for me, it was just like, damn, I'm becoming really sad right now. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just trying to explain where, where this thing comes from. Of like when we did our um, ceremony, uh, our, you know, our Prima ceremony. Prima ceremony, ceremony, it was really intimate. We had like two friends there. Our daughter was there, and and I remember even getting super nervous. That was a long time ago. I definitely have grown so much. My mind has opened. I don't feel like people are out to get me like that. But I was just guarded more than ever. So you know what? For me, when we did that ceremony, we were. I think we were just, I don't know what the fuck was going on, but I know that it wasn't all as good as it was supposed oh, to be, Oh, you know? yeah, it was a hard And so, so I feel like right now, we are like more than ready to get married. I mean, I, I want to do it. You know? <laughs> I want him to take my last name. What the fuck, bitch? <laughs> I'm not a woman. <laughs> but, no, um, we uh, definitely talked about that too, because yeah. I, I don't want him to slap my last name on him because I feel like we're both men so it's, it's something that i feel but i love that question man because it's something mm -hmm. that i feel like we people have asked us you know i think somebody at work asked me that and i was like oh no like it's just like i don't like, know like i want to do it i want to do it with a big with big everything See, but this guy doesn't so yeah, i'm like but you know what the honest truth i feel like um people that don't even know me and i really give me on social media like just really raw and i feel like people embrace that and appreciate me you guys help me so much to kind of like just you know, I don't know, it has made me feel like 
it's, it's helping me. It's helping me grow and, and change my mind on certain things that I think about. So let's go to the next one. The next one is, what's a typical day for you? So a typical day for us, I don't know. Like, let's not There's no typical days. <laughs> for me, I just wake up I always, if the sun is out or if it's raining, whatever, I'm just happy. My, I have like my window, I have a hummingbird that comes all the time. That little motherfucker makes me happy. So, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even fed his ass. Yeah, so I don't know, we just kind of like always wake up and I wake up early with so much energy all the time. I'm just excited about, I don't know what I'm excited about, but I'm always excited. <laughs> and so it's kind of always changes because the honest truth, like I make the best out of anything. If we even just go get coffee, I'm making an adventure of that shit. Yeah. I'm gonna make like, hey, let's do a video here. <laughs> I don't know, I've just always been like that since I was young. No, for me, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm more of the chill guy. And this guy just has the energy that he says. But you, you know, know like, what? Me, I gotta drink fucking energy to try to get back. <laughs> but look, since I was young, even though I was shy to myself, when I was in my element, oh, I had this energy. I really did. You know, when I was around, Certain cousins, my sisters, me came out, but right, you know what I'm saying. So, like, I'm living that now. I'm, I'm, I said, an, an, an adult man, I, the young me that always felt comfortable with certain. Now I'm like, living it now. I refuse for anybody to shut me down to make me feel like, you know. Trust me, I had a really bad ways back then when I was young. Like when I, when I was around people I didn't fuck with, I was like this, and I almost used to make my day miserable because I was like, I'm not fucking with them, and I'm not even gonna speak. But who was making their life miserable? I was. Because yeah. I wasn't even having a good time. So now I'm just like, if somebody don't fuck with me or if I don't fuck with your energy because you fake as fuck, I'm still going to be having a good time. Like, I'm just unbothered with things no more. You know, I don't have issues with people, but when somebody shows me their ways, like if you're faking shit. Don't do that. Look, I'm wearing rings. I and hate I, that. I don't shit. hate that. No, on purpose, I'm fucking tired of the don't do that. <laughs> Shut up, well, shut up. Okay, next question. Thank you for that question. That was beautiful. I don't even know if you explained it right, but girl, we don't never know. It's just we can find this shit and then and then two seconds later, let's get some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, like for us, like like um, um, when it comes to our relationship, I feel like um, we don't ever stay mad for long. I mean, it's it's. I used to be like, I'll fucking fucking won't talk to him for days, but <laughs> then he taught me how he works and he doesn't like to sleep. Upset. I can't. I, There's good times when we're drinking, we sleep upset, and we and I wake up. I wake up. Ex- <laughs> he he already fucked up because it's like, no, you let me sleep like this. Shut the fuck up. No, like the honesty, we can't even argue. Like it, we have to fix it. Like I've never gone two days like us not being no. cool. Not like, not not now, but at the beginning, yeah. Yeah. Next question. I'm gonna read these, and then you can read the rest. Okay. okay. The next one is, um, how long have you both been together in a relationship? Question mark. Seems like a lifetime with the with the passion you both have with each other. Oh my God, that's beautiful, I love that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've been together for um, 17 years. It'll be 18 years. It'll be 18, in, uh, October. October this year. Uh, we've been together since 2005. And, um, let me see, what did you ask? It's like a lifetime. Okay, yeah, so I was gonna get deeper, but like, okay, yeah, so we went together for 17 years, and I, the honest truth, like, when I first met him, I was like, I wanted this, what we have now. Mm-hmm. At the time, I didn't see it. But that was my goal. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> so for um, for me, this is what I wanted. My my vision, my, like what I used to picture in a relationship, or me being in there, is wanting to be fee- feel free, no secrets for him to allow me to be me. You know, it wasn't like that. There was a lot of not unknowing one another, a lot of insecurities from you, from myself, and then clashing, and you know, and it, and, and I was younger, so it was. A fairy tale in my head. Like it takes time to get to where it needs to be. I, Adam has allowed me to be myself a hundred percent. He knows me at every level, and that feeling makes me feel amazing. You know what I mean? I just refuse to be in a relationship that I feel like I'm hiding. I just feel like I'm suffocating. I can never be like that. So imagine with friends or family. With you're around me, I have something in my mind. I'm gonna say it. I'm not gonna just be like no filter. But when I mean like if if, if just, I'm speaking my mind, you know what I'm saying? And if I love you, I'm gonna fuck with you. Like, if, bitch, if you have a moco, I'll be like, bitch, you have a moco on your nose. <laughs> Simple like that. And they would be like, oh my God, you told me that? And then when you tell me as a moco, he's like, don't fuck don't me. Fucking put, don't make me feel stupid. No, no, of course, if people do that to me, I'm right away, I'm like, you did that to me? Oh, girl, like, I passed by five bitches. And none of those bitches told me, you are the real one. You know what I'm saying? Like, so for me, I'm like that. I'm like that, that I'm just in a... Speak as love. You're talking about our, how we met, or how long we met. 
It's your focus, right? Don't be distracted, motherfucker. You know what <laughs> Okay, so the next one is... Uh, you read the other one. He, you know what? He went through these and the ones that he doesn't know how to read, he throwing them on me. No, motherfucker. Like, no. this motherfucker doesn't read for shit, so... If <laughs> do you do... <laughs> stupid. Do you do everything together or some hobbies separately? Very good question. You answer that for me because so, I, I, I can, st- I can talk a lot. Sure the fuck can. This dude will be fucking three hours long. Go, Bobby, go. Okay, so, so to be honest, like at the beginning, like I had like separate lives from him. You mean like I, I worked all the time. He would be home with Nally, taking her dance, doing what he got to do for our daughter. Now, now that now present time, we work together. We wake up together. <laughs> we come home together. We have the same days off together. <laughs> <laughs> We do everything together. We're like making up for the lost times. I used to go to work in the morning, like around 10 in the morning, and I used to get home like 12 o'clock midnight mm-hmm. sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I worked in Whittier at that time, so I would be gone all day between two jobs, you know? Mm-hmm. And so, But even when he used to work like that, when he was his days off, we used to be together. Even, okay, so yeah. when he was working like that, I still didn't have friends. Like, I never really had friends like that. Um, to me, my friends were my family, so I always kind of been a loner, and I'm okay with that. I love knowing people, I love to talk, as you can tell. I love networking, I love socializing, I like to express myself. But having a daughter, you know, um, I didn't really let anybody just in my circle because I feel like I gotta protect my baby. Even when he's like in the resting, I'm sitting outside the door waiting. <laughs> like a fucking dog. So now we definitely work and I mean back then us working together would have been a hot ass mess. Yeah, oh, it would have yeah. been a, the hottest mess. So people say that, but I love being people around. People always ask like, do you guys like we will, we will never, it. we will never argue. There's times that Adam and I are clashing because I feel uh, we're at work and, and, and the ugly in me comes out. Like, okay. yeah, but if we know how to pull it back. I'll be like, Adam, this is not the motherfucking place because you already know. I'm take like, it outside of the fucking. I'm like, I'll blow this shit up right now, motherfucker. <laughs> you know I can't bite my tongue. You know what I'm saying? The fuck up. You know, you know it gets messy and then we're just walking around. I'm passing by like, you better fix this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's happened like once or twice. It has, it has, it has, it has, but I can't hide it. I can't hide it for the way I feel. And then last time we, we had an argument for, for one of the coworkers, you were like, I can't believe you did that in front of her. It's like, fuck that bitch. We're humans. What the hell do you expect us to be? What, fucking muñecos? Mannequins? No, this is real right here. I'm not, a, I'm not embarrassed ever, ever. If you see me as a hot mess, I never said I was perfect. So if you think I'm perfect, thanks. But I'm not. <laughs> he may look perfect, but he's not, huh? Well, you gotta compliment me. Okay, the next one I'm gonna read. And this one the same person, so I'm gonna read them all together and we'll just put them together. So do uh, women try to hit on you? If women hit on you, how do you respond? How do you respond? L- uh, question mark, LOL. Damn. See, do you not know how to read? I really fucking yeah, fucking, yeah. I start I start like skipping stuff or add little things to it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. thank you so much, girl, for this question, man. I love it because you know, obviously, if you can tell Adam or Marcel, maybe you can't tell, maybe Oh, you could tell. If if you see me moving, it's like mm, zesty. <laughs> the rings. He's definitely broken. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, go ahead, Bobby. Do you get Okay, buddy? so for me, I feel like um, yeah, I feel like I do. You definitely do. I, I work. Girls, girls be like, oh my god, your smile, and and I'll That's be not, no, I'm just like customers. Customers will like sometimes flirt, but they're always older. They're always older. Or they're blind or <laughs> there's something. You know? uh, <laughs> but they definitely flirt with Anna, and I'm like, oh, and then you know what? Even guys, there was a guy that you know. Oh, remember he gave you free coffee? Oh yeah. And then I was like, yeah, but they're not talking about guys. They're talking about girls. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. See, see what I mean? Do you see? You already know. With girls, for me. I don't remember the last time any girl really. I mean, um, I don't think any girl said. Oh yeah, like the people on, on Instagram hit him up a lot. Oh yeah, maybe on Instagram. I mean, but I just feel like I don't know. I, I don't really pay attention to that. Like, uh, I don't remember the he's last. He's flatter. He fucking he does. I swear, I would not lie. Like I don't remember. It's like last... I come home and his fucking head's big. You know, if I go to the restaurant and shit, I come out. He's like fucking Shh. floating over. Shut here the shit. fuck up. Like, <laughs> no, I can't remember the last time a, girl, a woman hit on me like in real life. Like yeah, I, I get really like timid. Like. Oh, like oh, it, remember that one time that that one girl she was she was like humping her pillow. She was thinking about she worked at the same <laughs> That was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next Adam question. Oh, what is your biggest pet peeve about each other? Damn. One. <laughs> what you is the first? I want to know this I, shit. I don't know. Like, I'm not even bullshitting. Like nothing, because I'm perfect. Okay, I don't definitely not perfect, but I feel like. Um, it's really hard for me to really point that out. I, 
Um, Stop being a pussy. I swear, say. like I can't right now. I can't think. Maybe I'll come back and be like, I remember. But like right now, I just feel like Adam is like I'm the one that's more difficult. Adam's chill. Like you know, Adam is chill. He's understanding. I'm a like, cat. He's definitely <laughs> never has like off days like that. Mm -hmm. I wake up, my breath doesn't smell. My poop well, doesn't smell. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Like I don't know. Okay, my turn because there's nothing yeah, yeah. you can say. I'll, so, I'll think right now. So for me, I'm gonna fucking have his long ass <laughs> list, and he's gonna try yeah, to. Come. Oh, I remember now. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so for me, I feel like what I, what my little, what is it called, the earth, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, it was a yeah. bad piece. Huh? Yeah. So, so um, it's that he's overthinker. Oh. He thinks too much. <laughs> he fucking always has fucking so much shit to say. Like I know people see him on Instagram, and he's like, you know, he's a little talker. You know what I mean? And he's still like that in real life. Like, I'm like, didn't you get enough? You were just talking on fucking Instagram for five hours. <laughs> Why do I have to do this shit right now? <laughs> and me, like, I feel like, um, and then also I feel like he's, um, too closed up, you know? I feel like when the alcohol's flowing for him, he's fucking, he's what you guys see. I, I but in up. real life, if he doesn't know you and he's not in his comfortableness, he's closed the fuck up. <gasps> like a fucking, you're like one of those Venus fly traps, you know? And then when someone comes that you're cool with, then you open up. But I promise you, like, if you come with an energy that I feel like, I feel, I feel it, I, I can't help myself. I'm fucking with you, I got your back, and I'm loyal as fuck. But sometimes people show themselves really quick. And I don't like unloyalty, I don't like fake ass shit, so when I see that from people, I'm just, I just, oh, I, I, just one. I just keep it cordial, and, but I don't, I just, <laughs> I, I just be like this, do what people, I just can't, I can't help myself, man. I have another one. Ay, uh, mijo, que? Um. <laughs> What's up, say it. Wait, you mean me Don't be a pussy. No, so so mine is that he, he's fucking rude. He's <laughs> You're rude too. <laughs> no, this motherfucker could be out of nowhere. I'm like, hey baby, can you give me this or whatever? Fucking will snap because I don't know what the fuck he's going through. And I'm like, I don't know what's I going on in your fucking head, but I, I like a man period. I grew, yeah, up, so. I, grew up, I grew up around women, so so did I, I. I think I picked up when they had moose wings. I was like, is, so that, the, I. is that the way I should act? Okay, I'll take it. And now oh, I'm like right. a grown ass man. I'm like, I'm cramping. And it's like, I just gotta take a <laughs> shit or something. I don't know. Next question. Okay. Cause okay. I feel like I'm being attacked at this <laughs> point and I'm ready to swing. I got this okay. ring, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> what has been your favorite date or memory together so far? Mm. You go home, yeah. you go so for me, I would say, damn, there's so many, but I would say recently, it was our first cruise that we went on. I feel it was such an experience. We got to share that with our daughter. It was um, oh. so everything was like new, like everything was so new. Just and you know what? I I can't even lie. Like even this last Cabo one, the water getting that oh. water was so like. It was just so. Let me beautiful. tell you something about me. I love nature. I love water. I love the sky. I love the sun. Like when I'm feeling really sad, sometimes I just stand by the sun like a dog and sunbathe and. It, it like it absorbs my energy. Yeah. I just like that's the way I was when I was young, man. See, I always keep saying that because you know, for the longest time, I always connect to my young me because I, I try to heal my young me by allowing him to like. I remember the things that when I was young I couldn't do. I'm like I'm embracing my little young trinito and be like, let me you embrace that puppy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that sometimes people don't do that, and for me, it's, it helped me so much. So, so what is yours? I think that the cruise for sure, man. I think it was so amazing. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna say Tijuana. We went for Tijuana for his procedure. He haven't seen that in, um, that um, go to. Uh, it was one of your best memories. Right now, yes. Because you know why? Because uh, now he came with us, our daughter, and Adam did something he's been wanting to do for so long. Um, uh, Nana and I were, you know, exploring that area. It got really bad at the end. It got scary. But I oh, love that. I love that. Like I'm a type of person that I don't think it's all about just having a good time. To me, the fact that moments like that, like when Adam and I have get, have arguments, you know, it's ugly and I hate it. But then I, when we get out of it, it connects us so much. You know what I'm saying? I don't got that fake ass shit. I don't. I, I'm not trying to paint no picture. To me, ugly. When you get out of the ugly, when you get out of it, beautiful things come out of that. You know what I'm saying? It's like putting, you know when you have to put shit on dirt so the flowers can come on more beautifully? That's the way I see life, baby. You know, see you in this? Yeah, no, I got you. All right, next question. Uh, how long do y'all usually practice a skit before posting it? Question mark. Uh, they're perfect. 
Thank you so much. Okay, Can so I actually want to. I want to say. I appreciate that. you, bro. So for me, there's so many like the songs that we do that I know them. Yeah. I know those are my. Shit. And they're always the old ones. Yeah, and this guy will jump on and and believe me, we fucking clash. We do it like maybe four or five times, right? And it's just to to make it like more genuine, not like look like it's a fucking. The way we do it, the way we do it. I like to catch a vibe, and I don't like that. I don't like to be fake. So then we do it. We're doing it just to practice it, like the words. And then we go with it. And I always love the ones that are just And we fight like, every fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't so like fast and I'm like, I don't know it. Chill out. <laughs> but there's a lot of them that are really like honest truth. Like if I know that, we're like, oh, I love that one. And it's not even perfect, but it's perfect to me in a way that I just like, I don't care. Like it was, it, it, I don't go for how I, how I love. If we're catching the vibe, we're catching the beat. That's it for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what does it for me. Uh-huh. I don't like to not catch the beat. Like, no, we catching beats over here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the next one's gonna be, what are you coming out story? Uh, what is your coming out story? Were you scared? If so, what gave you the courage to come out? I love yeah. that. I love that. That's been a long time, and I feel like I'm still always coming out, honest you. People that don't know me, I like the job that we went to, they they saw us and then people were asking us like what's your coming out story my coming okay. out story see i love <laughs> me <laughs> okay so my coming out story was when i was like um when i moved to bakersfield i moved to bakersfield with my mom and my dad and i had my daughter obviously and um moving to a new city it almost allowed me to be like okay okay this is it <laughs> and i remember just being an emotional ball like i remember being feeling really lost extremely scared and ready to spread my wings and I remember just screaming it. I ha- I remember when my older sister was like, what's wrong with you? And I was just screaming it. I was just, I feel like I was holding it for so long. I remember um, saying stuff um, that, you know, just it, it was making everybody uncomfortable. So for me, it was my daughter. I feel like my daughter helped me to just like, how could I raise my daughter to be such an organic, honest person when here I am not being honest with me, you know what I'm saying? So I feel that, and then like right away when I moved to Vegas, I kind of met Adam. And when he met me, I was a hot ass mess. I cried to him the first day I met him. <laughs> and then and then I told him I loved him. <laughs> <laughs> what is your story? Is your okay? So for mine, mine, mine actually was like, I want to say since like I was little, I've always like had an attraction. You know? But I, you know, like in his family, that's not family, the coming out, Bobby. That's then, what shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm I'm leading up to it. And so it's like you know, like all your life you live like this. Um, this lie for people, so you try to, you know, you hook up with girls, you do this and that, and then I got into church. After church, I backslided. And backslided! I, <laughs> I love that word. That sounds so, fuck up. Go ahead with your little backslide so, so, story. Yeah. So, like, I was like, if I'm gonna go to fucking hell for doing this, going back to drugs, doing all this and that, I'm just gonna fucking go all the way, and so I went for it. I hate that tried. quality. I, I, hate I, that I quality. just, I just, I just, it happened, mm-hmm. it made it easy. And um, um, the first time I was like, I was like, oh my god, I felt like I have AIDS. I fucking, well, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I felt so dirty. And um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, but we get to the story when you came out, Abusa. You're dragging the babito. Okay, so when I when I came out, um, I came out. <laughs> he was like, once upon a time, to in, my mom. In the 1960s, Adam was born. <laughs> like, whoa, 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 whoa. Bobby, don't so, tell that. So when I when I came out, um, and my mom was I was in the li- I was in the kitchen. Breaking it down. <laughs> we were eating ramen noodles. Shut the fuck up, And with man. the ramen noodle water, we we boiled okay, some hot. Oh, no, the hot dog water. We 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 use it to use the ramen noodle because you know he was he's ghetto as fuck. I used to live in a hotel. <laughs> Okay, go ahead, bro, go ahead. Okay, so when I came out, um, um, anyway, so I told my mom, I, I finally, finally told her, she was in the kitchen, my dad was there, my sisters were there, and I was disowned. Like, my mom said she didn't have a son no more, she had nothing but daughters. Um, I left the house, I left the house, and my sister hugged me, she cried, she told me to leave me alone. But what, um, what was it, what, what made you want to come out? It's because I was, I wanted to be who I was. I was 20 years old when I did that. Mm-hmm. And, um, um, and yeah, so I just did that, and, and that that time in my life, I was going through a lot of shit. I was really having doing certain things I shouldn't be doing, and I came drugs. home, and I finally was accepted by my family when Ugh. I was doing drugs. I was I, I came home in a police car. I was the I had fuck is on me. going on? I, I Bobby, like, enough. <laughs> People are like, wait, what? Cops? What's happening? Yeah, I'll break that all down later. But yeah, and my mom finally said that I'd rather you be here and be who you are than to be out there and period. And not know what's going on. No, his story is beautiful. But, yeah. uh, but apparently I can fucking tell. Oh, but, but you go in details. 
Yeah. We had a red rug in the red rug. It was there was a stain because I stained it. It's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> No, but you do do I that. People are gonna come for you. They ain't coming for this me. This is what I'm talking. This is that little pet peeve I have. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he talks all day long, but he shuts me the fuck up. No, but it was three just, words. We have more questions <laughs> to answer. <laughs> That's the only reason. Okay, the next one is gonna be how old are you guys? I feel like I like I know, and I I want to use. Uh, I, I can't read. <laughs> The first one, baby, the first one. Uh, how old are you guys? I feel like I know, and I used to chill back in the day. Oh, like she feels like you probably chill back in the oh, day? Oh, and we used to chill back in the day. Period. Yeah. Girl, what the fuck? Come below. Because I know I know you're not talking about me because I don't kick it with nobody. Definitely, I'm from Oxnard, I'm from Bakersfield, I'm from Rolling Heights, I'm from Monterey Park, East LA, Whittier, like, girl, nobody knows me. <laughs> nobody knows me. Um, I, was, uh, I was just... Well, how old are you? I'm not gonna say my age. I want you guys to guess it, cause I am not saying that. <laughs> okay, so so for me, I'm originally from Bakersfield, so maybe maybe I might know you, you know? Yeah, I don't. But, I don't. Um, and I used to kick it. Let me tell you. So, he used to kick. It. And um, um, but I'm actually 42 years old. Woo, bitch, you. <laughs> All right, next question. You really not? You're like a fucking no, girl. Dude. I'm like a woman. A woman. Pet peeve. Is it? I'm I don't give a fuck. Next question. Thank you for your question, sweetie pie. But I'm not saying that a lady never says her age. <laughs> Next, which Sunday are we going to the swap meet and get some enchiladas and menudo? Girl, what the fuck? I'm going to pick you up, girl. What's swami? Who's this? What's swami? And girl, what's up? The menudo better be popping because you know I'm picky with the menudo. Not too much garlic. And then what's swami we going to? Yeah, because you know we, we used to pull up to the swami on, on Santa Fe. You already know. Uh, this was, I mean, yeah, we, we live everywhere, so... Any swami, baby? We definitely have to plan that out. Yeah. That sounds fun. Do, do they sell? Do they sell like a menudo at the Mercado Latino in Bakersfield? Mercado Latino be popping. No, of course they. If do. you're in Bakersfield, part. A Mercado Latino be popping. Every every day, that's fuck. Like I mean, at least back in the day for for us, you yeah. know. But yeah, thank you for that question, girl. You already know I'm down to kick with anybody. As much as I say that I am. Hey, gonna... just let us know which Sunday because we'll request it off. We'll oh, really? We'll 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 okay. Up. Next question. It'll be Where did you fun. guys meet? Ever think about moving out of LA? Okay, so we met in Bakersfield in an alley. <laughs> Downtown Bakersfield. It was dark. Too. It was dark. And, no. I, and I saw him and I was like, I love you. <laughs> and I said, cool. <laughs> yeah, there he is. You know, the first time, the first day went down. No, like, I did not. We're, I'm a fucking lady. Girl. <laughs> moving, to, moving out of LA? No, man. I okay. love LA. LA is in my heart, man. I feel like I lived everywhere. You know, I, I, I lived in Mexico. I lived in Oxnard. I lived everywhere, the honest truth. Like, just, I feel like. Me is everywhere right now, but LA for me right now, I'm where my baby's gonna be at. So where if my baby moves wherever she's at, boop, boop, I'm there. That's that's where that's where I'm gonna be at right now. Yeah. We're here in, and we keep moving because we're here to support our baby at the end of the day. That's just it. That's that, that's my that's my going life right now. So period. So what are you you will move to LA? I would move. I would move and um um just to like um, um just because I like to move, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. All right, next question. My question is, who chased who? Who said I love you first? Period. Girl, that's a... Okay, I love that question. Okay, so... Uh, who per I pursued Adam. So, the way it was is that I was working at a food max on Union in Bakersfield. I was a security there. I was looking fly as fuck. I was in security. I was like... <laughs> and then this girl used to work at Food Man. She was a cashier, and she had a picture of Adam in her locker. I don't know why she had it. And she had a she had a, like a printout, so it was like not even actually. Like and then I was like, what the? F I was like, he, he had had him had thin eyebrows at the time, and I was like, hey, who's that? He's gay, huh? And she didn't know I was gay. I said, like, oh my god, how do you know? And I was like, inside of me, he's like, yes. <laughs> I was like, where's he from? And he said, she said Shafter, and I was new to the city, so I was like Shafter. So then from there, I was just like. I was on the search. I was like, Amber Alert. <laughs> Missing person. I, and it's so weird because I got it confused and I was thinking Delano. I was looking at Delano, talking to people, and then I ended up finding him. I got his number from some guy. I'm not even joking. I, I, got, I found a gay guy who was cool. And um, I told him like, hey, there's a guy named Adam that I'm trying to pursue. Like, oh, you know that him? He was like, he's a tweaker. He's a dirty ass tweaker. And I was like, he is? I okay, still want his number. <laughs> He's cute, fuck all that. I'm just trying to get some, you know? And so I got his number, I called him, and I was like, hey, what's up? You know, I already know what's up, baby. I'm trying to like chill and whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know? We kicked it that day, <laughs> and that was it. I was like, you're mine forever, honey. <laughs> that was it, that, that was the story. That's exactly how I'm the one that said I love you the first fucking first day. Like, that's just it. The first fucking day. The first After day. he was done crying. <laughs>
Yeah, so we need to go a little deeper into that story. <laughs> I got this, puppy. Next. Oh, that's it. Okay. Love you guys' questions, man. Sorry for being all over the place, man. Yo, but thank you guys we so have to much. Do another one. Seriously, if you guys want another fucking Q and A and get juicy with it, like, girl, let me tell you something, fam. Como te digo, like, we're down to chop that shit up and keep that shit real, man. Thank you guys so much for you guys taking your time to comment below and, and type some questions, man. I appreciate you guys, man. I see you guys always. You guys always make my day when you guys just like show me love and you guys embrace us, man. Because honest, Drew, we're humans and we're living life just like everybody else. And I have off days, but to me, I've been having off days since I was <laughs> since I was born. So I learned how we have to um, see the beauty in life, you know what I'm saying? And express feelings that I have and I like to put them somewhere else. So that's why I draw that, you know, if you see my art, you will see a lot of emotion through my art because that's my outlet, you know, expressing myself, singing, dancing, loving, embracing life. I would never fake a smile, ever, never. A smile is here for real. You know what I'm saying? If you see me sad, I will say it. I'm sad. I'm sad. I would never fake that. I feel like that's just, just to me, that's, that's a recipe for disaster for me to lie. Never. I'm always going to speak my mind. If you call me, I'm letting you know. Bitch, I'm a mess. <laughs> but a bitch still gonna keep it moving, you know? We appreciate you, man. If you stay with this video, I love you for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, thank you, man. It's like our first time actually doing like a Q&A and &A shit, you know? And it was such a vibe, man. What do you think, Bobby? You know what? I'm actually like still thinking about that Sandra girl. I'm trying to remember, man. I like to- Bobby, we're gonna stalk her. We're gonna figure <laughs> out who she is. <laughs> Because I kind of feel like I'm starting to really think I know who it is. But all right, all right, let's do this. Yeah, well, you guys have a beautiful day, man. Thank you for chilling with us. Comment below. Share this video, man. And don't forget to let us know what you guys want from me. What you, what you want? What you, what you want, baby? You want you want a little sign? Sign? I know I have a moment. <laughs> all right, you guys have a beautiful day, mate. Hey, I got you.